Thank you. Thank you for waiting until the very end. The best is for last here. So it's a very different presentation. Uh, obviously, the uh, previous presenters were in uh, preclinical and clinical stage. This is actually a commercially available product that has um, evidence of safety and efficacy in humans. So the product is called Rejuven. And So uh, we'll talk a little bit about the science very briefly. What causes um, human aging and how does uh, rejuvenate work? Um, we tend to believe, like David Sinclair does, that the problem is really a software issue, not a, uh, a hardware issue. And the genome is the hardware and the epigenome is the software. Aging is then caused primarily by changes to the epigenome due to damage in the passage of time, what's called epigenetic drift or corruption. And so the solution, um, the product is actually um, what it does is it's, it, so lifespan is largely epigenetically determined rather than being genetically predetermined, and rejuvenate rebalances the um, methylation patterns in your DNA using DNA methylation testing to determine how old your biologic uh, is, and it reprograms that uh, to a pattern that was similar to what you had when you were younger. And that then changes gene expression, and that manifests itself in physiologic changes. So I've been on the product longer than anyone else has, for example. And although this is anecdotal, data is set of one. So um, I started turning, uh, my hair started turning gray when I was 27. It was all white when I was in my early 60s. It's now been getting nothing but darker, and I now have some blonde streak in it, which was my birth color, which looks a little odd. So um, one of the things that uh, it, it, it does is, is remodeling, and so that decreases your epigenetic age, but it also upregulates good um, gut bacteria and downregulates harmful bacteria. It increases stem cell production, and it also blocks cytokine signaling of senescent cells, thus reducing chronic inflammation and probably reduces the likelihood of tumor formation and tumor progression a much more elegant solution than senolytic drugs, for example. It also increases the ability of red blood cells to carry oxygen, thus in, in, increasing uh, endurance and, and performance uh, in athletics, and uh, it, it also decreases the healing time. So the very first um, evidence, the first paper that we had was published in Cell Metabolism. These are the blackjack six mice. And so the control basically got normal uh, mouse feed, and the test group got uh, our version of uh, calcium alpha-cated glutarate. Alpha-cated glutarate is a Krebs cycle metabolite. It's used to convert, if you remember biology, uh, food into energy for every cell in your body. However, the amount of AKG uh, that you have as you get older decreases in order of magnitude, and it's not found in uh, food. Uh, in, in food. And so you, you have to supplement. You can't just eat your vegetables to solve the problem. So if you take a look at the guys on the left, the control group, they don't look too good. And the ones on the right, um, this is about the age of uh, uh, 70. And they began treatment uh, at 18 months, which is about essentially the age of 55. So starting at that point in life, we were able to essentially increase lifespan. It's now up to about 13 to 14% increase health span, the healthy, disease-free years of living by 41%, and compress morbidity, the period of uh, suffering and acute um, money being spent, um, by 46%. So it was statistically significant for postponing the onset of frailty, including graying of hair, hair loss, curvature of spine, the onset of tremors, and then gait disorders, which is basically walking without balance. Rather remarkable, world first. Nobody has ever produced data like this before. So uh, eventually we went into humans, and uh, this is a study. It's not even our data. It was by the uh, folks that we use that create the DNA methylation test for us, which is called TrueMe. And in this study, which was published in Aging at the end of last year, there were 42 subjects who took a DNA methylation test first to determine their biologic age, then were on rejuvenant for an average of seven months, and then retook the test, and it reversed their biologic age by an average of eight years, which is quite remarkable. And the only reason that you haven't heard of me on 60 Minutes is because I spent all the money 
developing the product and paying for intellectual property. And so I have no money for marketing. We literally spend $300 a month. So I'm raising a C round primarily to do what is now going to be a multi-center uh, prospective randomized placebo controlled trial, which I'll have completed within uh, two years. And actually the National University of Singapore is donating the money uh, to pay for that trial. And um, yeah, I'm now certain that we will have a positive result. So this is the product which is commercially available on the internet um, and on Amazon. There's a male version and a female version. That's different combinations, but the primary ingredient is calcium alpha glutarate in a uh, sustained or a timed release format. And so it's grass, generally regarded as safe, so there's no pharmaceutical products, no anticipated safety issues, and no reimbursement required. So the big problems typically associated with investing in biotech, i.e. FDA approval and reimbursement, are non-existent uh, here. And so I've got uh, one patent that's issued, uh, a whole pile of them that are pending, and uh, no anticipated, uh, obviously, approval processes. So in terms of going to the market, we've chosen the only channel we can afford, and that's a landing page, and then uh, uh, Amazon. So we're on e-commerce, Amazon. We, we respond to interest coming in from professionals. Mostly these have been clinics around the world, and you know, we agree to sell to them on a wholesale basis. Then eventually we need to get to uh, retail. We've got to be able to do um, some national advertising. And internationally, we're in a, uh, several discussions uh, about distribution um, in, in various parts uh, of the world. So if you buy it once, it's $150. If you go on subscription, which is the business model, it's $110. We give you a free DNA methylation test to begin with. And then if you're on it for seven months, uh, we give you a second one for free so you can measure your progress. So the second phase is to partner. We don't want to sell an, you know, an, an ingredient per se. We want to sell a branded product. Um, so we're the first uh, company that has uh, basically shown that we can reduce biologic age um, safely. And so we're now in discussions with a variety of different groups. Um, one group has an interest in medical foods. If you recall, basically medical foods are those things that go after diseases but they are not typically found in the uh, food chain. And so this falls uh, directly into that. The two places I would go after first, if it was my money, is cancer and uh, mental uh, cognition decline. So we also have some folks that are big consumer products companies that would like to turn their junk food into longevity food. Um, there's an opportunity for an age-decreasing cosmetic. There's some data that looks quite interesting. Somebody mentioned female health, uh, reproductive health. Uh, two papers have been published in the mouse model showing that it preserves ovarian function. In fact, my distributor in Singapore, um, his wife had been through menopause. He was in his 50s. She was in her late 40s, and she wound up getting pregnant. So he called me up and told me he wasn't sure if I should be sued for not having a, uh, the right warning label or to double down on the company. So we're also in late-stage negotiations concerning developing a beverage and then also we're talking with three different companies about uh, pet food or pet supplements and one company uh, concerning livestock feed. So all kinds of things, but again, I need the capital to be able to pursue them all. So how are we performing without any marketing, just on word of mouth? So we've got about $1.3 million in sales. Um, the lifetime value of our customers is about $900 now. Um, the average in the industry is really about 150 to up to th uh, 300. And so um, our continuity repurchase rates are 91%. The average in the industry is about 50%. In three months, uh, they've lost their customers. Our customer lasts for an average of nine months. And that's because they actually see something happening. So it's really quite, uh, quite remarkable considering there's no advertising. So uh, David Sinclair uh, has agreed to join our advisory board, assuming that we can ever get the contract through Harvard. Um, but I met with him a little while ago at his uh, uh, lab in, um, uh, in Harvard and asked him to inscribe my book. He wrote something rather remarkable. He said, through your own um, actions and presence, you have landed at the moment the world changed in a position to alter the course of human history. 
And the moment the world changed was when he did his Twitter release uh, right after uh, our paper got published in Aging, showing the eight-year reversal. So, interesting. Um, and then just right before we came, there was a, it's not a good day. When people talk about who are your competitors, we don't have any competitors because nobody else has demonstrated that they can reverse biologic age. And that, I believe, has got to be the gold standard. People take pills for all kinds of reasons, and I take them, you take them. But if you're interested, is, if you're interested in longevity, then this is the only thing that has any evidence that it might work. And um, basically, Chromadex, who sells NR, was happy to tell the world that uh, the FDA says NMN is now a drug, and that'll be pulled off the market in the United States. Ironically, the same day, there was a paper come out talking about NR uh, potentially causing cancer. That, I, I'd not looked at that study. I just thought it was kind of uh, ironic, and I wouldn't put a whole lot of credence in it until there are more studies. So I'm raising $20 million, excuse me, $10 million, up to $20 million, depending upon the terms. And the key milestones are to build out the management team, uh, begin the approval process in China and Japan, and begin a paid media campaign, and then develop some of these new products, and also expand distribution channels geographically. One of the key things is the clinical trial. So we will, and, and I didn't include it because um, NUS has already agreed to give me the $2 million to do it. Um, the reason they did it <clears throat> was because I agreed to uh, have the trial run out of Singapore from a management point of view, and that Singapore would have one of the two key sites, and that they would also then help drive the publications of the paper, because the gentleman who runs the medical school there felt he agreed um, that this is the only company that's likely to have a trial in, uh, in the clinic here very shortly. This is actually the second time we've run this trial, um, which I'll talk about in a minute, and um, that a positive d outcome would probably be the best thing for the entire industry, a big win, as there have been a couple of uh, losses lately. So if you take a look at the landscape, everybody who's always investing wants to know what comparables are. So um, our, our A round was uh, 15 million, which is on the very low end. And our B round valuation was 50, which was below everybody else. But we've been incredibly capital efficient. You know, I've been doing this for a long, long time, and I have a fair amount of my own money in this. So we're now raising a C round, and um, you know, nothing's been done below 175. We will certainly do it below that. And beauty is always in the eye of the beholder. But it is an unprecedented opportunity to invest in a clinically proven longevity product that is commercially available and ready uh, to scale up. So in terms of a summary, um, you know, we have the first and only product of any kind that's been demonstrated to decrease biologic age in humans. There's commercial traction with attractive recurring revenue uh, in a business model, and there's a massive unmet need for age decreasing products of any kind, but supplements in particular, because they don't require FDA approval, and they won't be priced in a way where you'll have to have reimbursement. This was designed from the get-go to be a mass commercial product. There's a strong proven management team. We're truly wonderful people. You'd like us very much. Um, it's an unprecedented opportunity to invest in a clinically proven, commercially re ready longevity product it is a platform technology with multiple product extensions in development, and the intellectual pro property has been filed on all of them. Um, Ten to $20 million C round with a uh, path of cash flow break even, and a high growth company with visibility to a liquidity event in two years. And so when we start this trial uh, in Singapore, one side will be in the United States. Um, it's a prospective, randomized, placebo controlled uh, trial. Once that trial is finished, well, I'd mentioned earlier before that we had run up with a, a, uh, another trial, placebo-controlled prospective trial at Indiana University. We started it right when the pandemic hit, and so we had a very tough time enrolling, if you, as you might imagine. And when we were finished with the trial, the enrollment showed that the average biologic age of our participants was eight years younger than their chronologic age. The only people who showed up were very young and very, very healthy. So what we did in the post-analysis was we found if we'd have cut it off at four years younger than your biologic age, meaning you're still pretty healthy, it would have been statistically significant for reversing biologic age. 
And so the trial that we are designing will only uh, include people who are older than their chronologic age, uh, or uh, their, bi their chronologic age, or only two years younger. And so we're going to be looking probably mostly at folks who are in their 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. And that trial now I know for a f almost, I say for a fact, I know with high degree of certainty that we will have a positive outcome. And if we have a positive outcome in that kind of a trial, then it will be an asset that has to be owned and uh, it will most likely get acquired uh, or we might consider taking it public with that kind of an outcome. Nobody has ever been able to show that before. And so that is the summary. Thank you. Yeah, great. Well, Tom, thanks very much for your presentation today and best of luck with the rounds. Yes, thank you. And we have hired First Longevity to help us with the round. Yeah, great. Thank Thanks very much, Tom.